right side of the family what's happening and y'all will see me back with another video man got Lala here at the vet getting the PG done hopefully she ready to drop these puppies y'all Amazing. Let me see if she'll stand up, y'all. Yeah. All right, girl. What's up, mama? Thank you, that's a tiny y'all. She's a belly, y'all. Yeah, hopefully she full. Lay down, mama. Good girl. Yeah, I hope she's ready, y'all. How y'all been doing, man? I know it's been a minute. Been raining a lot down here, so I ain't really had a chance to shoot no video. So yeah, what we got going on today? We got Lala here. She uh getting a reverse progesterone to see if we can do a C-section on her today. So hopefully she'll be ready, y'all. Y'all cross your fingers, say some prayers, man. I'm ready to see what this girl produced, man. If y'all didn't watch my other videos, we uh bred her to our male dog hot sauce. So, hopefully, man, we get some good cooking, man, some good structure cooking. We really going for structure on this one. You know, of course, we want some good DNA and color, but we're basically, we basically going for structure. So, the topic of this video, y'all, I think I'm going to do the topic of this video will be should you import a Roddy or should you just buy a Roddy? from America. And not just riders, y'all. We talking about Dobermans, we talking about German Shepherds and all that. Should you import or should you just buy one? You know, I wouldn't say locally, but should you just buy one from America, man? So if y'all want my two cents on it, man, y'all stay tuned. And I'm gonna give y'all my two cents on it. That girl is so tiny, y'all. This girl is so tiny. I wear a size 12, y'all. I want to see a little bit. I don't want to put her shoe up, though. This girl is so tiny, y'all. She, she like a little toad. But she a reverse try, y'all. She actually a, uh, a reverse ghost. We call it a ghost try, reverse try. So y'all can see she blue and she got the mask on everything. So we hoping she throw some tries, bro, or some, uh, and then her dad, the dog, hot sauce, he a chocolate try. So she carried blue, she carried cream, and, uh, nah, she carried blue and cocoa, I think. I don't know if she carried cream or not, but I know she carried blue, cocoa, and something else and tan points. So hopefully we get some trial out of the deal, y'all. Look at it. What's up, girl? But yeah, man, should y'all import or should y'all just buy locally? So yeah, family, uh, the topic of this video, man, should y'all import or buy locally? So it just depending on, you know, what you trying to do, like, if you just buying, you just trying to buy you a good solid dog, um, good quality, full blooded dog. I mean, you should just buy it from America. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of guys, even with the working line shepherds, um, Dutch shepherds, uh, Malinois, and the German shepherds, the Czech shepherds. Only dog I say probably you should. Um, Import like if you really want to get a good one, it's a Doberman. Cause like I don't really see a lot of good, you know, structured and working line Dobermans in America. But like Roddy's, man, you don't you don't have to import no Roddy, bro. Just to be honest, like, um, so let's do the pros and cons on importing. The pros are, cause y'all know I imported Kino, so. I think the pros are when you import a dog, they can't they can't send the dog to you until it's like four or five months old. So now you get to actually, if they got a good social media presence or website, 
with basically like Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and stuff. That way you can kind of see videos of the dog and see pictures of the dog and reels of the dog. So you can kind of wait and kind of pick you a dog when he's already developing. When he or she is already ready developing, opposed to like when you buy a dog from the United States, you probably just gonna buy an eight week old puppy. So you don't really know how that dog gonna turn out. So one of the pros is you can kind of wait till later to get a better pick on whatever male or female you want. But um, if you just buy a dog just to have it, you ain't really trying to do no breeding program and stuff. There ain't really no sense in trying to import no dog just to say, hey man, I imported a dog and I'm better than you because I can import like anybody can import a dog. You know, as long as you got the money. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of quality dogs already in the United States, especially as far as like riding and stuff like that. Um, Cane Corso. Um, if you're doing shepherds, like German shepherds, man, you want to just get a working line dog, you might can import that. But there's some guys got some good import, you know, working line shepherds too, man. The key to buying a dog in America, man, is just being patient. You know what I'm saying? Or getting in early. If you get in early on a breeding and get the pick, you know what I'm saying? That way you can kind of guarantee yourself a better, you know, pick. But basically, man, if you ain't really starting no program, you know, it's really not no need to import no dog just to keep him. You know, you can get a quality dog from you know, somebody on YouTube, you know, and save some money. Cause like right now the import, you know what I'm saying, the fees, you might can you might can buy the dog for two thousand. But the import the more the import the dog gonna cost you two grand plus. You know what I'm saying? So you at you out of about two grand plus all the little airport fees and stuff like that on this side. Just to get the dog, it's going to be $2,000, 2100 Then once you get the customs, you got to pay them extra little fees and all that. So you're going to be out of like four, five thousand, 5000 depending on how much the dog is, you know? So you couldn't buy a dog from a miracle. Just be patient, get in with somebody that got some quality dog, man. Put down a deposit, man. Sit back and get you a good pick, you know? But like I said, with them um, Dobermans and stuff, I ain't really seen no good Dobermans in America. You know, it's a few guys that's on YouTube, but I don't even, you know, just mass producing like how it is with all the rest of the dogs, riders, tame corso. It ain't a whole bunch of people breeding those. But, I mean, you do what you want to do, but what I'm saying is, it's not necessary. You can still, buy your quality dog from the United States with the same blood, you know, unless, only thing, if you gonna import a dog, man, I think that if you just try to add a certain look into your program, like if you already got a program, you already done bred, and you try to add some outside stuff in there, and you want it as direct as you could possibly get it, you know what I'm saying? So what I mean by that is, if you want to adopt the Timotor son, you know what I'm saying? You may just want to go to Doc Timothy, you know, go over there, import a dog from off of him, you know, directly. That's about the only way if you just want to add some direct, you know what I mean? But there's way more dogs that we don't even know about. Like, y'all don't even know about it. People got dogs in there, you know, in their yard that look just as good as any other dog. They just unknown dogs, you know? These people ain't promoting dogs, they don't got no YouTube, but it's a nice dog in America. So, uh, say, do yourself a favor, man. If you just really trying to get you a decent dog in your yard, man, buy that crap from somebody, you know, you've been watching on YouTube, but you've been watching in real life and you see their productions and all that, you ain't gonna go wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see that girl? You pimped out. 
But yeah, man, you can't go wrong, though. But like, with them shuffles, though, I ain't gonna even hold it. Like, it's some messed up German shuffles. Like, like, I see some slanted back German shuffles with them long hair. Like, nah, you might wanna get you a good working line shuffle. But, um, yeah, man, save some money, man. Buy your dog from the United States, man. You know what I mean? Unless you just trying, you got, you already got a program, and you been breeding, you been kind of lying breeding, and the blood that you been using is from overseas. You know what I'm saying? And you trying to get direct there. Hey, how you doing? Y'all, I get right back at y'all in a second. All right, y'all, so I'm back and came and got Lala from do the position wrong test. But, yo, what I was saying was, man, you can do what you want to do, but um, as far as, like, with the riders, man, um, y'all can watch YouTube, man, and, you know, you can find some quality riders in America. You know what I'm saying? I, I can understand if you just, you want to, you, you know, people be like, man, I want, just like me, I wanted to start my kennel, right? So I felt like the best way, you know, to get what I wanted was to import a dog. But that ain't necessarily always true. You know what I'm saying? What I could have done was not rush the process. What I could have done was put down a deposit, which I did. You know what I'm saying? Like when I got Dior, I put down a deposit. But um, let's just say I had second pick female on a deposit. But Dior came from a different litter. I wanted a puppy off of the litter that Dior came off, but all the pits were gone. So Dior was like, you know, just floating around. She went the first, second, or third pit. She just was in the litter, right? So when she came available, I was just like, yo, let me give her because I didn't want to wait. You know what I'm saying? And I actually wanted a dog off of that litter. But had I would have just been patient, and stay in line on the little that I had second pick from, I could have probably picked a better female, you know what I'm saying, than Dior. So it's all about putting the deposit down, getting in line, and being patient, knowing what you want, you know. Um, just holding your money, you scared to send deposits and all that, and holding your money, bro, you gonna end up getting the last pick you know what I'm saying? And not saying that the last pick a bad thing, because, you know, some littles be consistent, more consistent than the other one, and you could probably still get a good dog. But had you put your deposit down and just waited, and then that also give you enough time to pay your dog off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see a lot of people, they contacting breeders like my, you know, not me, because I, I haven't even put my number. Well, I have people, you know, inquire. But not to the, you know, not to the capacity of they just blowing me up asking me what my prices are because I haven't put in, I haven't had any riding litters yet. I sold Frenchies, but not riders, but it's still kind of the same thing, y'all. But, you know, why would you call a person where you see this man got two uh, imported dogs. You already know this man done paid 10 grand or whatever to get these two dogs. So why would you call this man and ask for a $500 puppy? That's just like going to the Gucci store, you know, wanting to buy some JC Penny clothes, or, or, you know what I mean? Or some fucking Reeboks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so y'all stop that, man. You know what I mean? Y'all stop that. And then the thing about it is, too, you know, y'all call breeders that, you know, if I tell you I got a Butler Kennels dog, right? When you call Tony Butler, Tony Butler going to tell you, hey, man, my puppies, four, five, thousand, whatever his number is, right? And then I tell you my female is from Big Boss Kennels or whatever, and you call Big Boss and they tell you they puppies a couple grand, right? Hold on, y'all. She's bringing it back in. Yeah, right, Mama. All right, you got two hundred fifteen minutes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we got to just run down the line. I'm gonna get it late. Okay, I got that no face, no case, y'all. Ain't that no face? 
That little dried up stuff on her nose, man. She ain't too woke, so. When she threw up, she licked the nose, so that be like a dried up spit or some shit, right? But uh, like I was saying, man, if you know, if you if you called all these, somebody will call me. Um, if you called all these people, man, and you see how much they charging for their dog, why would you call? Hold on, y'all. I got another call. Okay, y'all, I'm back, man. That was my daughter. But uh, like I was saying, man, you know, uh, I can't remember where I was at, but basically what I'm saying to make a long story short, man, uh, if you call two other guys and two other women, two other breeders, and you see that they selling their dog for 5000 a piece, why would you call, you know, the smaller guy and try to pay him, you know what I'm saying, $500, $800? Like, bro, stop wasting your time. And start wasting other people's time, man. You understand me? Like, if you want a five hundred dollar dog, go look in the yellow page. Go in somebody's back. You know, you know. Still, when I call um, Akbar Forks or Butler or all the other boys that got these dogs, man, I would. I had to pay the price that those people were asking. I ain't calling the people and say, "Hey, man, you know what you got for two hundred dollars?" You wasting people's time. So basically what I'm saying is this, I know I got off the um, topic, but I've been watching a lot of guys lately, you know what I'm saying? And they've been kind of elaborating on the prices of their dogs. And, you know, they're being respectful to people. You know, they're not, they making videos, but they're not just on here saying, you know, stop calling them, you know, low balling them with their dogs. You know what I'm saying? If you want a quality dog, you know, that's just like you want a hair cat. You ain't finna go get no hair cat for 20000 you understand me? If you want a haircut, you need to have at least 60,000. 60, you know what I'm saying? Even if you ain't got the 80 grand or the 90 grand to get you one brand new, at least have used. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm basically saying is if you know these people sell their dog for 3500 at least have three grand or, or send your money in advance and start paying on your dog. That way... You know, whenever the, it's time to pick your dog up, you done paid your dog down. So, you know, I just wanted, I know it kind of seemed like I got off subject. So, I just wanted to talk to y'all, man, because I haven't been talking to y'all in a while. And these are things that, you know, I've been seeing, you know, happening in the online and, you know what I'm saying, in the atmosphere. So, I just wanted to touch base with my people, you know, my family and just be like, <laughs> Y'all, man, save your money. If you want a quality dog, you don't have to import it. I mean, by all means, import you a dog if that's what you want to do. Uh, but if you're in the start embry embryo stages, just put down the pods and be patient. You can see a lot of male dogs and female dogs in America, and you just put your pods down, be patient, and get you a dog. You know? So the cons are importing a dog. If you, what if you import a dog that's 10 months, 12, a year and a half? That dog don't know you. So you got to get the dog adjusted. Uh, you can import dogs with anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Like you buy a six month old male and he shell. He shell shot. He scared. You know what I'm saying? Every time loud noises come around, you know, he don't know you. You know, it's a language barrier. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot more with import a dog, man. So, you know. Hold on, man. I keep being tired, man. What's up, pretty girl? What's up, pretty girl? Go play. Go. Yeah, I can see y'all. Got that girl a lot. Got that girl D.O. out, man. But yeah, like I was saying in the video, y'all, as far as like importing dogs, man, you do what you want to do, but it is some quality dogs, especially riders and um, pockets and stuff like that. It's some quality dogs in America, y'all. But I mean, if you got the money to spend, 
You want to import your dog, man, by all means, knock yourself out. But it is some quality riders, other dogs in America. Like I said, I really don't see too many good Dovermans, but hey, that's because I'm not looking. I only, you know, watch Roddy channels and um, pocket bullies and stuff like that. So, what you doing, girl? Come here. Get from under there. Get something under that shit, y'all. She don't win. What you doing, girl? You ain't finna have no puppies under there. Ain't no need of camping out under there, girl. <laughs> Y'all, she done got down here in the bushes, y'all. You wanna have your puppies right up, girl? Yeah, ain't gonna happen, girl, sorry. I know you wanna get you some little bed in it. Get your little nest going, but it ain't gonna happen. So yeah, I wanted to show y'all Dior man before I wrap up this video. This girl about to pop, man, any day now. Where she got? About 10 more days. Well, she got a couple more days to go before she give birth, but I wanted to show y'all her and just wrap up the video about importing, y'all. If you want to import your dog, man, by all means, import your dog. Uh, like I said, man, it's some good guy. It's some guys got some good quality riders, man, so... Uh, they sell some bread, man, and get you one from America, man. Do your research. Be patient. Get in on the breeding, man. Put your own deposit down. And see, that's another thing I, I be saying about people, right? You got people in the United States, right? They, they'll they um be scared and hesitant to send you a $500 deposit, but they'll send $5,000 overseas. So that's another thing, like, if you scared to send your money, you might just want to buy you one local, man, because if you scared to send, to pay for a dog in full, because you're going to pay for that dog in full that you're going to get from overseas or whatever. So if you scared to send your paper, buy local. You just do your research, man, and you'll be able to get you a good dog, man, locally. She walking up under the Come on, mama. Come here. I ain't wanna call her, but I don't want y'all to see her. It's a pretty girl. Do your research, man. Get in on a good breeding. And just be patient, man. Get you a good solid dog. I'm trying to make her go out there, y'all, so y'all can see her. She didn't got so big. That's enough about the import, y'all. If I left something out, man, I when I edit the video, man, I try to make another video talking about it. But for the most part, y'all, you do what you want to do. Yeah, it's a beautiful evening, man. We just out here. I took Lala to the vet this morning. She, um, yeah, that's right. I forgot to even touch base with y'all. I took Lala to the vet this morning, and she ain't ready, y'all. She should be ready tomorrow, so I got to take her back for another PG, reverse PG tomorrow, and she should be ready, so we'll have them puppies coming. She over here by these flowers. Y'all still about to pop, y'all. That girl full of them Chapo puppies. So I'm not taking the pauses yet. I want to make sure I get the puppies and we see what we're going to have. And... Look at her. She done stuck her head under the gate, y'all. At this point, she trying to find somewhere to have puppies at. Girl, you're not gonna have puppies out here, girl. You having puppies in the house. In the dog house. She done disappeared on y'all. <laughs> she 
she look like she done got through the fence, don't she, y'all? Get out of there. Come here. <laughs> Try to find some where the hell puppy, y'all. You a good girl. You a sweet girl. Yes, you are. Daddy, baby. It's my baby, y'all. My baby girl. But yeah, family, Lala, go have her puppies tomorrow. We're doing a C section on her. Dior about to pop, so she'll have her puppies here soon. And I'm not taking the party yet, because. I don't know what she gonna have, y'all. So once she had the puppies and everything, we can do the deposits. I give y'all the information and everything. So y'all just stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. We got the French's cooking up. We got the Rock Riler. The ride is heating up. Look at that girl, man. How many y'all think she got? She trying to go up under the gate, y'all. Now you done got your head dirty, girl. You got your head dirty. You on camera. You making a move of you and your head dirty, girl. You want to cut or you want to keep going? Dior. Dior, you want to cut the video or you want to keep going? You need to have makeup? Want your makeup done? Let me get her, y'all. She just swear she finding her some kind of little hide out to have some puppies, y'all. Look. But yeah, I ain't gonna bore y'all to death, man. Y'all see her, man. She still coming along pretty good. So here in the next, pretty soon we're gonna have some puppies, man. Y'all cross your fingers and, you know, hopefully everything go well. If you want to import your dog, do it. Just be careful, um, but you can buy some dogs from America. You got some good rider breedings going on, man. There's some good guys. There's been breeding dogs, and you can see the consistency in them. So, like I said, as far as, like, Dobermans and all that, you might want to import you one of those. If y'all know some good Doberman breeders, man, leave them in the comments. I like Dobermans, too. And I know I say Cane Corso, but I know y'all... The, per, the correct word is not cane corso, it's cane corso or whatever. But you know, we call them cane corso. But the pros to um, importing a dog, man, you can see the dog at four or five months and um, get a better pick instead of picking an eight week old, six week old puppy. Um, you know, if you've been following the over, overseas bloodline, you'll get a direct, you know, descendant of that line, male or female. But the cons are, man, you buying them dogs, they be shell shocked, and you know, you gotta deal with people, you know, you can't, they don't barely speak English, and. You got to send all your bread up front. So, you know, it is some cons to it, but you do what you want to do, man. But it is some quality dog in the United States. You're looking at one on right here. You know, I would let Keno out, but of course, y'all know we imported Keno, so it ain't even about that. Do I think that I could have got a good meal from the United States? Absolutely. I absolutely think that I could have got a good meal from the United States but you know I had that mind frame like oh I'm gonna get me some nobody ain't got or you know and it wasn't even really that y'all it was just that I liked uh, the dolls that they were producing so I spent my money the right how I wanted to but I could have gotten a, a quality meal I see a lot of guys with quality meals that they got from the United States and them males producing. Just cause you get a male from overseas don't mean that he gonna produce. So, not knocking not knocking overseas or none of that, bro. That's not what this message is, is about. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that you can buy a quality dog 
from the United States. You know, everybody saying, oh, this is an American Roddy. That's an American. Ain't no such thing as, you know, all of them got the same blood, bro. You know what I'm saying? They just sometimes be poorly bred. So if you find a good quality breeder and you see that they took quality dogs together and, you know, they did a quality breeding, you can get a quality puppy. But anyway, I ain't gonna keep rambling on about that. Spend your money how you want to, man. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. We got we got Dior coming up, man. She full of uh, Chapo puppies. And yeah, y'all be on the lookout, man. So with that being said, I'll catch y'all later. I let that fool out. I let Kino out so y'all can see him, man. Even though I'm making this video about important dog, just wanted y'all to see Kino run around a little bit. I don't know what he over there tiptoeing around doing, y'all. It's kind of grainy. See it there running around. Oh, that's Kino, y'all. Kino. <laughs> that boy, that'd be ready, y'all. Look. <laughs> that boy, that'd be ready. Get you. Get it back. This is what you get, y'all. Just want to show y'all that boy Kino for a second. Look at him, y'all. End the video with this boy Kino. Large and in charge Kino, that is. But you can't get quality dog from America, y'all. Don't be fooled. Even though Kino was an import, you know, I still feel like I could have got a good male from the United States. So, it's Kino, y'all. Thanks for watching, y'all. Y'all see that boy functional, too. But yeah, I'm finna clean out the kennels. So I just let him out to clean out his kennel, y'all. I cleaned out the yours already, so. Watch that run. Straight into me, y'all. I see that boy fully functional, y'all. Don't let him fool. <laughs> he crazy. But yep, man. I'm about to wrap this video up, y'all. Y'all take care and be safe. And until the next time. Peace.